Welcome to Clem Rants. And when I was a kid, we actually went out and met people. Okay, I'm not going to copy another ranter here. But I've been requested to do a rant. And in this rant I'm going to be doing... Uh, the new YouTube homepage. But first of all, before we get into YouTube, let's take a look at what Google have done to their Gmail service. If there's a comment from a YouTube video that's more than three lines long, you don't get to see the entire comment. And if you click on the More button, you'd think it would show more of the comments, but it doesn't. Click on the More button, takes it to the inbox, where you have to search for the comment, rather than just seeing the comment in the mail. Of course, you could always click on the video there and find the comment that way. And this is another thing I think I should start ranting on. I'll just shut myself up. Yes, they've changed the look of the video player. To be honest with you, I don't really have much to say against this new video page. Except, if I could just get it to scroll back without my taskbar appearing. Why all this blank space on the left side of the page? It makes no sense. Oh, I see. That's why they've put that there. But why is it all hidden by default? It makes no sense. And you know another thing I really wish YouTube would do? I mean, they've gone through all of these changes and not one person has thought to put the rating of the video under the video's thumbnail. I mean, they could put a little bit of extra space and put the video's rating there, but do they do that? How much more space would it take just to add a couple of lines to the code to display the video's rating? Anyway, going on to YouTube itself... I really, really hate this layout. Fortunately, I have a workaround, which I will show you, but for the purposes of this demonstration, here is the new YouTube homepage. And what really, really sucks about this, apart from the fact that it looks incomplete, I mean, when I first loaded this page, I thought it hadn't loaded properly, because it, it really doesn't look like it's loaded properly, does it? It looks, it looks like something's actually gone wrong. I've heard that this new layout is more for iPhones and iPads and other mobile devices with touch screens. Well, some people still use a full desktop computer with a mouse and a keyboard. Yeah, who would have thunk it? But what really sucks about this is that you cannot see just what your subscriptions have uploaded. If I go to my subscriptions right here, wait for it to load, okay. So, you can see videos, and it looks like these people have uploaded these videos. Oh look, this person here has uploaded a video, flight test basic, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, wait, he hasn't uploaded that video. It's what he and some other people have liked. Oh, uh, another one of my subscriptions has uploaded another video. No, wait, he hasn't uploaded a video. It's something he's commented on. And there's absolutely no way to make it just show the subscriptions. I could go to my subscriptions here. And sure, I can go to their channel and check out their videos. But it was much easier just to go to the home page, click on show uploads only, and then see the videos they uploaded there. But now... When you want to see a video that somebody has uploaded, you have to go to my subscriptions, find a video that has a big thumbnail, and there is the latest upload. It shouldn't have to be that way. Not to mention that the default thing on the homepage is the now playing. So, you might see a video with a big thumbnail, for instance, this video here, and it makes it look like, oh, I've got a new video from one of my subscriptions. No, wait, I haven't got a video from one of my subscriptions. This is a recommended video. If I want to see recommended videos, I will click here and get my recommended videos there. And like I said before, nobody has thought to add the video's rating under the thumbnail. So, any one of these, vid any one of these videos could be an absolutely terrible, crappy video. And you don't know that because there is no rating there. 
So let's see what social is, shall we? Oh, it's just links to Google+, Plus, Orkut, Twitter and Facebook. Wait, no it isn't. These icons don't do a damn thing. It just lets you connect your accounts. Listen, I'm not one who broadcasts everything I do, every second of my life, to every single social networking site in the world. I actually like to keep my private life to myself. But speaking of Facebook, look familiar? Yes, they're turning YouTube into Facebook. This is YouTube. Or rather, hang on, let's just go back to the home page. This is YouTube. And this is Facebook. See the resemblance there? And now for the workaround. For some reason, if you open the page in Firefox, you still get the regular YouTube homepage. So if I go to it, there we are, the um, not so crappy YouTube layout. I don't know why Firefox shows the proper, you know, well, I call this the proper YouTube layout and Google Chrome shows the crappy one. And I'm sure several other browsers will show the crappy one as well, but Firefox, for whatever reason, shows the somewhat tolerable YouTube layout. But as for the new YouTube layout, you suck, you suck, you suck. And that's all I have to say.